Hello everyone, my name is Vipul Jain and in this video I am going to talk about very important topic called reusable components. So when you work in Power Platform or any low code, no code technology or a platform tool, then reusability is a very very one of the most important concept which we should leverage always. Now in the projects I have seen uh, while working with the development teams and with some other teams that uh, developers they don't reuse the components or the functionalities which they might have developed in their previous apps and maybe for the same customer as well. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create component libraries because that is one of the way of reusability in Power Platform. So I'm going to show you three different scenarios of the reusable components which you can definitely develop in your environment which is going to help you to create or develop the apps much faster because that is the whole concept of power platform or any low code no code platform all right so we'll start with one of the uh, component library so how you can create the component library you go to apps the second tab which you see is the component libraries you can click on those component libraries and you have to click on new component library so i'm going to show you one of the component library which i have created this is a simple component a reusable component which is called header so i have given the name rename it to cmp header and you can see you can create different custom properties for your components all right or reusable components so i have created the property header title of type text screen cmp width height and show setting icon so you here you can see there is a setting icon the logged in user details some text you want to add in the header your company logo all these things because let's say you are working for one of the customer the branding guidelines the theming will remain the same for all the apps all right this is very much configurable so in this uh, particular component how i have created it i have just added a rectangle some images uh, text and a label control so by using these controls what i have done is that i have created a component and i will publish it so the moment it will be published it will be uh, available in my canvas app so whenever i am going to create a new canvas app i can use this component very well which i am going to show you so this is one of the component very good component uh, concept of reusability which you can leverage second one is translation component so i have created a video i will give you the link in the description uh, previously how to use multilingual concept or how to create multilingual apps in power apps so uh, leveraging that or extending that what you can do is you can create a component library uh, for uh, for the multilingual for this i have created two properties one is language another is label language is of type text label is of type record so you can create different types of property what i'm doing here that on the on reset on reset property of this particular component i am creating or setting a variable where translation I am giving some uh, random labels, some attributes like language, what is the label and so on. And based on this, I have created this component. How to reuse this components, I am going to show you later. As of now, I am just showing you that how you can create the components, reusable components. So first we saw the header, second we saw the translation component and third which I am going to show you is the left navigation. So left navigation, again it's a very common thing. Similarly, you can create other components as well. You can think of your uh, requirements uh, within the projects. So maybe I have created the header component. You can create the footer component as well. So header, footer, left navigation, multilingual, pop-ups, all these can be considered as reusable components. So you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Please remember, please stop reinventing the wheel again and again because that's the whole beauty or the whole purpose of low code revolution which is going on. So low code, no code platforms very much supports the concept of reusability and we should leverage that while developing the apps in Canvas app. So this is a left navigation component which I created. What I have used is a gallery control and a hamburger icon. Hamburger icon is by default available in Power App, so you can definitely leverage that. That particular icon I have used. And if I'll show you the uh, usage of this particular uh, component which I have developed is, so you can just press the Alt key and you can see here, it is navigating to the different uh, menus in the left navigation. That is how you can use this component. All right. So now the time is that how to reuse this component while creating a new Canvas app. 
so let me uh, let me reiterate one, uh, once again what we have seen till now what i have shown you till now in this particular video one is that you can use the reusable component called header maybe you can create header footer these kind of components can be created which are going to be reused again and again in different apps so you don't have to invest your time or the developers don't have to reinvest their time again or they don't have to reinvent the wheel again just to create the header footer left navigation and pop ups multilingual functionality all these can be reused again and again so this is the translation component which i showed you and the third one is the left navigation now coming to coming to uh, the topic that how we can use these reusable components while creating a new canvas app so i am going to show you now that how you can create a new app so let's create a new canvas app i am going to create a new canvas app so i'll say uh, reuse components all right reuse components i'll click on create so now i'm creating a new canvas app all together right and i have already published all my components in the component library as a part of component library so what i'm going to do is now i am creating a new canvas app and all those components i'm going to add in this canvas app and i'm going to show you that how easily and how quickly you can create your apps all right the power app canvas app has been created now what we are going to do is we are going to add our components so when you go to the insert you find here get more components all right in the get more components you can click on the reusable components which are available in your environment or your tenant so i uh, click on component header i want to import translation component as well and i want to import left navigation component as well so i'll click on import import so all these components will be imported in the canvas app and definitely i can reuse these Uh, particular components which i have created in my canvas app so that's the beauty of reusability and that will definitely minimize your app development time and at the same time it will give you uh, uh, to reuse the uh, the components which you have already created now let's do this way let's uh, there is a screen what i want to do is now i'm going to show you that how you can very well use those components so click on plus there is a category called library components i want to add the header control add a component very quickly so i just click on header cmp header component and you see the header component header component has been added now since i make it configurable you can see show setting icon is on and off this is the setting icon i don't want to see this in my app i can just click on off and what will happen the setting icon will be disabled or will disappear similarly i can click on on again so the setting icon will be visible for me so that is how you can use or reuse the components which has been created very quickly let me add a new screen and on the next screen i can show you that how you can use the translation component as well so this is the screen which i have added let me add the translation component here so this is the translation component which i have added on the screen you can see the translation component has been added on the screen and for this particular demo what i can do is that i can very quickly add a toggle control so i have added a toggle control this is the toggle control and similarly i can add two labels just below this toggle controls so this is one label let me expand it and similarly i can add one more label so i have added two labels on this screen for the first label what i can say is this is uh, lbl underscore title and this i will say as lbl lbl underscore job title all right so i have added two labels i have a toggle control so on the toggle controls uh, on the toggle control there are two properties which is called on check and on uncheck so on check what i want to do is i want to set a variable let me add a set a variable i will say set where language i am just creating a variable so that uh, it shows me uh, the data in one particular language this is the variable which i have set where language all right Uh, similarly this is on on check and the same variable i can set on the on uncheck property of this toggle control so let's say for english uh, i want to say en hyphen us 
en hyphen us so what i'm doing is i am creating a variable i'm setting a variable on the toggle on check and on uncheck properties so once this is done what you have to do is that you have to go to the translation component and in the translation component you will find a property called language language is a property where you can definitely set your variable whatever variable you have created so i have created var language so this is the var language variable which i have added so on the language property of this component the variable has been added now to get the data from the component what we can do is for the title so title text property we have to change so what we can say is that translation component 1 dot the property name which we created the property name is labels so this is translation component one dot labels dot title we have to show the title in one of the label and the similarly i can copy this and i can put the same in the job title label text property i'm just going to change it with instead of title at this time i will say job title just adding the property job title all right so our component has been reused very correctly in our app so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to just run this app and you see here that this is off this is showing me the english data and when i'm clicking it on it is showing me the german data that is how you can use the translation component as well so these are the two components which i have showed you now one is the header component another is the translation component and last component which i am going to show you is that you can also use the uh, navigation component that is a left navigation component where you create your menus or maybe the top, uh, the links to navigate within the app so what you can do is you can just click on plus again similar thing library component left navigation the moment you add the left navigation you see here the left navigation component has been added definitely this is a hamburger menu icon you can definitely expand and collapse it as per your links in the left navigation so that's all in this video in this video i have shown you that no need to reinvent the wheel please focus on the concept of reusability so that your app development time can be minimized and let's say if you are working for the same customer developing many apps so since the branding and theming is going to remain the same then you can use the header footer left navigation uh, maybe pop up all these reusable components can be developed within the power apps for canvas app thank you